Good morning, guys. Today you are gonna come with me to eat a lot of croissant today. So today for me it's a croissant day in Paris. I realized I haven't even tried any croissant in Paris. Oh, so I just looked up Boulangerie, the bakery near me that have high ratings, and I'm gonna try that. So for my lunch right now, I'm gonna have three croissants, and after I have my croissant, I'm gonna bring this to Jacques Jean de Luxembourg and have it. And later that day, after I burn some calories, walking, so I'm gonna have two or three more croissants. So all in all, today's video is very simple. You are gonna watch me eat a lot of croissants. That's basically it. <laughs> Where's my first one? I'm again so happy right now because I thought today it's gonna rain. I mean, according to the weather forecast, it's like a cloudy and rainy day, but look at the sun. Oh, I just arrived at the first Boulangerie, the first bakery, so I'm gonna go buy it. It's just like there behind me. I'm gonna buy my first croissant from there. Arto Carpus. Why is it so hard to pronounce? I got my first croissant. Okay, I have two more that I'm gonna buy. Um, I think it's on the same streets. Honestly, like since I arrived here, maybe because I'm lucky or usually I don't visit shops that are that touristy. I didn't encounter that many so-called rude waiters here. I, I feel like most of the people shops in the Boulangerie they are also friendly and nice. I mean, okay, let's move on to the second shop. Ah, this must be it. Boulangerie Patisserie. Ah, the weather! Oh my god! This one! Boulangerie Patisserie. Yeah. Let's go! Oh, and there's also a line. Why is this so cute? Yay! I bought another one. Like the second boulangerie that I visited, I think it's pretty popular among locals here because during lunchtime, now it's lunchtime, like there's like a long line. Wow. I think I will come back here again for other kinds of bread. Each of them inside the boulangerie looks so freaking delicious and it smells so so good. Let's say goodbye to the boulangerie patisserie first and then I'll move on to the third one. I really love exploring this kind of like more like local shop. I really just not like a big fan of visiting those famous shops that are like maybe recommended by more people or on the tourist book and you know always like just crowded with tourists i don't like that i really just love to find this kind of like hidden gem in this like small streets and not so touristy areas that for me is very very interesting kind of exploring like different croissant shops is much more interesting than I expected. Am I just like lucky or what? Oh my god, I'm like so thankful, you know, having this kind of like gorgeous weather. So we arrived in our third boulangerie. Un pain à part. So cute, look at it. Okay, I'm gonna go buy a croissant from them as well. Okay, I bought my last croissant. I already got three croissants. I think that's enough for my lunch. Okay, I'm gonna walk fast because I'm afraid that my croissant is gonna get cold. I think I can reach uh, Jacques de Luxembourg in 10 minutes. Oh my god, I just realized something. I totally forgot to shoot some footages of the very delicious looking 
bread in the last bakery, but oh, sorry for that. But you know, just imagine yourself like the image, okay? Like a lot of breaths and all smells really good. Close your eyes, imagine that for three seconds, and that's it, okay? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was so in so much in a rush, and because. I'm the only customer at the shop, so I got a bit nervous when filming. <laughs> but anyway, yes, please forgive me on that. This street that I'm walking right now during the night is so bustling and so crowded. It's actually like very very lively and it looks very fun though. Like I passed by these streets like uh, once during the night and I was so shocked and surprised by how bustling it is. on my right hand side and on my left hand side wow i can't believe i am walking on this kind of like beautiful streets so nice oh my god okay we are approaching we are approaching jardin du luxembourg very shocked like this little park that I just visited 80% of the people inside I mean most of them are teenagers I think are having McDonald's for lunch wow that's surprising I didn't know like fast food especially McDonald's here is such a trend among teenagers is it? Finally gonna have my croissant. So let's try the first bakery that I got. It looks like this. Mm. It's not. It tastes like normal. I feel like it, the taste of it isn't particularly surprising, or it's not crispy nor flaky either it's soft which is good okay let's try the second one this one is pretty cool like i already held these three croissants for quite a while and i just like put it in my bag and for the first and the third shop it's already kind of like you know it's like the shape of it it's kind of flat after you know just like bring it running around but the second shop look at this it's still this like 3D. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not flat at all. So I'm gonna try it now. Mmm. Mmm. Wait a minute. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. This is crazy. Oh my god. I found a boulanger that I love. Oh my god, this is the one. So like my plan of trying different croissants and different boulanger, like the logic here is that if they can make croissants good enough that actually surprise me, then I bet like all the other products in the shops are gonna be good as well. So Okay, this is the third shop. Mm. Mm. Mm, the third one is also actually nice. I think it tastes a little bit different. I feel like it mm, adds more butter in it, so it tastes more buttery. Mm. This is also pretty flaky as well and soft. Still, I love the second shop the most. I was so surprised by the quality of the second shop, the croissant there. But the third one is also not bad. And I think 
what made it kind of special is like it has kind of like a different taste i feel like it tastes a bit sweeter 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 wow just like a picture ah, i'm so happy that i found this spot so i decided that i'm gonna come down and sit here and listen to music a little bit it's just like a picture it's like it doesn't feel real because this is like so pretty let me show you like what? like and the lighting today is so good Also, one thing that I want to do when I'm like in Paris, you know, like just sit like this near the River Seine and just like this. And in this kind of weather. <gasps> so I'm now heading to the last two croissant bakery in Paris. So like those in the morning that I tried are just like I randomly looked up on Google map, I don't think it's really on that many lists. Those like 10 croissant shops that you must try, that kind of list. But the two shops that I'm gonna go right now are actually on those lists. So they are like famous famous, I think. And I'm gonna try that out right now. It's around 6 p.m. right now. This is like time when people like finish their work, I guess. So it's pretty bustling on the street and it makes it harder to vlog in public because people are more likely to look at you. We arrived in our Le Boulanger de la Tour. Oh, they are sold out of their croissant. I'm so sad. But like the lady in the shop, she's so nice. She even offered me to try one of the bread that she think it's really good so i tried it but i didn't end up buying because for me like my teeth is very how to say fragile i would say so i couldn't really eat hard bread and for me this one is a bit too hard but she's very very nice so maybe i'll come back next time maybe like right now it's not like a good time to buy croissant i just realized because you know it's already like six o'clock and i guess most of the Bread's already like sold out during the daytime. But anyway, I'm still gonna take you guys to go see the last shop. And let's just finger cross that they still have like at least one croissant left, okay? And that's gonna be my dinner. So I just arrived. And they just put premier prix uh, du meilleur croissant au beurre de Paris, like right there. Bonsoir, uh, je vais prendre juste un croissant, s'il vous plaît. Oui. I just bought my croissant. I really love their bag though. It's like so chic with like black. As you can probably tell, I'm very tired right now already. So I'm gonna go home and eat some dinner. Yes, I'm tired. But today is also very very well spent it's unexpectedly great because of the weather and it's also very fulfilling i did a lot of things today so i'm very satisfied i'm not too far away from my home yes can't wait to go back to have my croissant very bustling during the night this street <laughs> Look at 
Here we are, the croissant and delicious healthy soup. This is chicken and this is veggies that I have no idea what it's called. This is tomatoes as you can see. First bite. Mmm. It's good. It, it is good. It's very flaky and crispy and as you can see, even if I, you know, walk all the way back home for like an hour, it still remains the shape. I like this kind of like dark brown color. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. I like it. Hi guys. So I'm gonna try my last croissant in this video. And as you can see, now it's morning, so it's another day. Yeah, so today I bought another croissant from Pierre Hermé. So this, this shop is actually uh, very famous for its macaron, but they also have like very beautiful like croissants. So I also bought one. So later I'm gonna have it. And this is gonna be my last croissant this week because I already ate too much. This is gonna be my fifth croissant. And I also bought two macarons. So I'm also very looking forward to it. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna try it right now for my breakfast. Mmm. Well, this one is a bit different because as you can see, it has sugar on it. And also it's a flower, a flavor of a flower. And I totally forgot what is the name. But mmm, it's really good. I think with flavor on, like it kind of just like overtake the flavor of the bread, which I think there's like pros and cons. It depends on your taste. Thank you guys again for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching me eating all these croissants. Gaining a lot of weight, potentially. And all the beautiful streets that I showed you in the video as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye! Bye-bye!